everyone! Today we're converting your images into sparkling video content. I'll show you how to use the Biteable Video Editor to bring your images to life, leave you with some tips to get started, and we'll go through the process of editing an image video together. Video routinely outperforms static images when it comes to social media. We know this for a fact because we ran a little experiment to see how an ad would perform with a static image versus the same image but animated into a 6 second clip. Same copy, same call to action, the only difference is a little movement. But the results difference was huge. The video version outperformed the image in every way. The video ad was clicked 480% more times than the image ad and it generated triple the leads. It was also seen by 25% more people. See what a little movement can do? For the health of your organic stats, it's unreal. With that in mind, let's look at how you can get more out of your images by turning them into videos. First up, when you use Biteable, you can either import your own images or, if you don't have any, you can use ours. We've got a library of tens of thousands of static images, so help yourself. Secondly, we recommend using images from the same set, like the same photo shoot, to give your video a stronger sense of visual cohesion. And finally, the most important thing to remember is to get those images moving. Click on your image while in edit mode and add an image effect. You can zoom in or out and pan left and right. And while you're at it, make sure you add some subtle movement to any text or graphic elements you have in the scene. You don't need them to ping around the scene like a DVD logo on standby, but try for a slow fade that works in tandem with the movement of the image. Creating movement is the secret sauce that turns your images into moving, engaging pieces of content. In fact, let me show you. Let's edit an image video together. Okay, let's go ahead and create a video from photos. So right now I've logged into my Biteable account and I selected start with an empty video. From here, I would be able to upload my own photos if I had them, but in this scenario, I'm going to use the photos available in Biteable. So I'll select the video and images tab and then I'll navigate to images. And here we've organized the different photos available into categories. You can also search for a specific term using the search bar up at the top here. So today I'm going to navigate to the food and beverage folder and I want to make a photo video of smoothies. So I'm going to select a few photos of fruit and smoothies that kind of look like they're from the same photo shoot so it looks like a cohesive video. So I'm just going to select the photo and then it will be automatically added to my video timeline below. And I'll select two more photos. And once I'm ready to edit, I'll just click down on the timeline. And from here, I can edit my video. So I can pop in any text that I would like to add. And I can also change the background of the color. And I can also change the background color of the ribbons and make it a bit transparent. Great. So I'm going to delete the text on the other two scenes. Now we really want to put our photos in motion. So I'm going to click on the photo and under image effect here, you can see I can choose from a number of different effects. So I'm going to pick a different effect for every video. Great, and to top it off, we can also add a text animation. So I can select this drop down here and pick my favorite text animation. Great. And if you wanted to, you could add scene transitions in between each of your photos as well. Then we can go ahead and choose a soundtrack for our video. There are over 80 different music soundtracks available in Biteable that are royalty free for you to use. I'll leave this video with no music for now. And then once I'm ready to preview my entire video made from my photos, I can select the play button on the left hand side. So I'm really happy with how my video came out. Now I'm ready to download it. So I can select download up at the top here 
and then I'll start building my video. Once this process is complete, I'll be able to share my finished video directly to my social channels or I can download it onto my device. Image videos are great because as you saw, they're incredibly easy to make and don't require any filming. And most of us have a stack of photos sitting around that can be easily magicked into a video. That's all we have time for today. Once you're ready to do it yourself, jump over to Biteable and get started on your image video and browse our image gallery. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe for more deep fried nuggets of video wisdom. Bye for now.